stream like this? The second wettest year recorded anywhere in the world happened right here. 15,000 millimeters. That's why this place is called Quince Mio. About once a week, some archaeologists have us haul equipment and supplies from their base camp out to whatever village they happen to be at. I'm not sure exactly what they're doing, but they couldn't do it without our help. That's pretty thick jungle down there. Okay, there's the lake. See the village on the south side? Check gear up for a water landing. these folks so excited. From what I could make out, they're closing in on the location of some ancient temple. Or at least they think they are. They say their museum back in London will make it worth our while if we help them find it. You want to do it? Seems like an easy way to earn some extra cash. We'll have to bring their chief archaeologist with us to show the way. Good, good. I'll go get her. Just, uh, well, you should know that these things never turn out to be as exciting as they sound. The last temple they found just looked like a pile of dirt to me. Okay, here we are. Put on your headset so we can all talk to each other. Hello? Testing, testing. Oh, this is great. For the past month or so, we've been conducting an ethnographic study in this village, and our interviews have finally revealed information about the legend of the Temple of the Anaconda. And now, we're going to find it. So, um, where exactly is this place? Well, if our deductions are correct, and I'm pretty sure they are, we've narrowed the probable location down to an area about 11 miles southwest of here. Well, you know, I do try to avoid bringing theoretical preconceptions to my work, but in this case, it's paid off. The inhabitants of this region have long spoken about ancients who worshipped the Anaconda, one of the largest snakes in the world. Well, you heard the lady. The probable location is 11 miles to the southwest. Let's go! In the annals of the Conquistadors, there is mention of a site the ancients called Belly of the Snake. Now, my theory has long been that it's a metaphor for the midsection of a winding lake. And a few days ago, an elder in the village confided to me that he has faint childhood memories of snake-like statues lining a river. I showed him a map, and he pointed to a long, narrow lake not far from here, and that, that's where we're headed. So we're looking for giant snake statues. Yes. I should mention one more thing. When I asked the old man if he remembered seeing the temple itself, he shook his head and he told me never to go there. When I asked him why, he said, Maldito. What does that mean? Cursed. Of course, I'm a scientist, so I don't really believe in curses. And yet, I must admit that I'm intrigued. There! That's the lake! You see that? Along the shore. Let's land and taxi over. Check gear up. My word! This is just as the old man described! Look at those statues! Pull up next to that big rock. Wow! I'm stunned, just stunned! It's more magnificent than I could ever have imagined. You two stay here with the plane. I'm going to go search the foliage above the riverbank. The temple itself has got to be very close. Now I can come with you. This is no place for... No, 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 no. I appreciate the offer. I, I need to experience this alone. I'll be back shortly. Well, okay. We'll be here. Yell if you need anything. Let's go! So what happened? Well, I found the temple. 